You guys, you're never gonna guess what happened to Katy Perry during the Brit Awards. Can't wait to see it. You know what else we're seeing? A lot of Bella Thorne lately. Mm -hmm. And you know who's not seeing it? Kate Upton. We've got that story <laughs> and more coming up on the Daily Rewind. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Heather Gardner. Hey, what's up? Dylan from Brooklyn. What's your name? Oh, wait. Oh, you didn't hear them. Uh, Comment below with your name. All right, listen. Did you see Katy Perry's performance last night at the Brit Awards? You know, I didn't see the whole thing, but I saw the little clip of what we're going to talk about right now. Because it's so funny. Now, Katy was on stage making all kinds of political statements. That's kind of her thing right now. She was singing Change of the Rhythm, which is her new single. It's good. And she was mocking President Donald Trump and also the Prime Minister of the UK. But that's not the story. Oh, but you, Politics, I got, no, but I got to set the that. scene. I'm trying to set the scene here. Okay. So there was, there was Donald Trump and Theresa May, these skeleton figures, and around them yes, yes, there were right. these like little houses. That's kind of cute, kind of weird, creepy, scary. But then all of a sudden, one of them just toppled off the stage. Poor dancer. <laughs> they really just took one for the team. I wonder, because they've rehearsed this, uh -huh. whether they can see or not out of that thing. Uh, but I didn't you guys look are watching like it right it. now. She really took a tumble. The good news. That house looks very protective. Yes, it did. Although people in the audience, though, I I don't know. Yeah, I wonder what those are made of. But everyone's saying hashtag new left shark. Left shark who became famous at the Super Bowl during you know Katie's what? performance. We gotta see that clip again because it's just so funny. And it's so been a funny. while. It's been, what, two years since yeah, we've seen years. it? It's too funny. Everyone loves left shark because, like, we are left shark. This is, this is how I dance, too. Anyway, moving on, Bella Thorne also dancing on Instagram and showing off like the craziest things. Yeah, it's and just too going much. Going by craziest things, I mean her body. It's just too much for me, personally. And I, I just... would say, I would think otherwise when it came to you. Well, because I'm one for women's rights, okay? Oh. I'm pro women. <laughs> no, oh. look, if you got <laughs> it, so funny. if you got it, baby, you don't need to be floss, you know, flashing it out there for men for free. You gotta be, you gotta hide it, make men wonder what's under there, you know, a little tease, and then it's like, wow. Ha, you don't, if you're giving it away, then no one's gonna, you know, wanna go after it. I mean, it. practically Bella Thorne is nothing but naked on social media. She's just dancing all over the place, she's showing off her body, she's showing off her chemical peel, even her face is naked, y'all. So she actually wrote this on Instagram yesterday, posts this photo of a completely red face. He goes, cheers to me and my chemical peel. It's a good day to have your face peeling off. Yeah, like literally, is that what happens? Like, what hap what is a chemical peel? They put a mask on yeah. you and pull it off, or it's like a layer Okay, of I actually know a little bit about this. Not that I've done it. I have haven't done it, but I actually saw someone do it. They put this chemical on your face and it literally makes your face peel, but it takes days. It's not just like they pull it off and you're done. Like you can't go anywhere. You see that picture of Bella Thorne? She looks downright freaky. Right, she's gonna be in the house for a minute. Exactly, it make, it takes off the first Might layer of skin. Might as well get a nose job while you're at it. Oh! What else is there going on? <laughs> Kate Upton, she was on uh, Andy Cohen's Watch What Happens Live talking mm -hmm. about not doing the dirty before her man, Justin Verlander, pitches and you know in his games playing for the Detroit Tigers, one of the best players in the league. He's a Cy Young winner, meaning he's the best pitcher during that year. Uh, but she says, no sex before games because I'll tell you, it takes the, uh, the, the testosterone out of you. You just get tired. <laughs> Is that what happens? Just go to sleep. I like learning all these new things today. Well, you, yeah. I'm learning about sex. You're learning about chemical peels. It's like a learning experience here on the Daily Rewind. Well, I guess your fiance, your husband's going to be happy about that too, then, if you're learning about sex. No, no, boxers, they don't have sex the day before because they want Wait, that is, all Is it a whole stuff. day? Because I was thinking, like, she was saying, no quickie before the game, but it's like a whole no, like, yeah, like, thing. The whole, like, the night before the game, what? probably no sex. So I have to ask this then. Do you think that's why? that um, Tom Brady is so good. Does he like ever have sex? Well, I mean, maybe they don't have sex with maybe the whole they just of the don't. But I get, I'll tell you what, it's probably his idea. He's probably. like, no babe, but I gotta be at thing, my best. Because he goes, because he doesn't even drink a beer. He doesn't have a burger the whole season. Does he like save up the testosterone? Is that why he's so good? And No sex? Yes, and Bella Thorne, take a message out of these adults page, holding it back, makes your partner want it more. A uh, mind is like blown Woo! right now. Okay, also mind blown, Britney Spears bringing it all the way back to 2007. Need we remind you what happened that year? Meltdown. She, she went a little cray, just a lot <laughs> cray, shaved the head, and then took this green umbrella and just bashed the you know what out of this paparazzi's car. You know what I was thinking about? I actually what was thinking? thinking about this incident the other day because 2007 is just when the iPhone comes out, right? So like social media really wasn't 
as big of right. a play in our lives. Right. So right before social media came around was probably the peak of paparazzi interfering with your life because the only way to get that was from like the blogs yeah, right, or like right. US Weekly. So like Jen Aniston in like 04 was dealing with it way worse then than it is now because if if X blog needs a photo, mm -hmm. like what we do, we just go to their yeah, Instagram. We, we don't need a, a photographer out there to go and hound them constantly. So I think this was the pinnacle and probably will be put in the history books of pop culture. Oh, of, sure. It's definitely one of those huge pop culture moments. Of just like a breaking point when it comes the paparazzi and I feel, don't you feel like in generally generally the paparazzi and the celebs kind of chilled a little a little bit yeah I, our interest in them is the same because of course we do have the social right. media but here's the coolest thing you can now have a bit of that history a bit of that Britney Spears meltdown because Daniel Ramos who was actually the owner of the car that Britney just beat up oh. he has the umbrella and he is putting it up for auction so there you go what do you, you can have yeah, it how much would you pay for that nothing because I don't care that much but someone out there does someone maybe that crying Britney guy oh yeah he yes. needs that umbrella he needs that in his life did you see the lifetime a movie of Britney no I did not did you guys well I'm sure this uh, meltdown was probably in there but we got to get out of here so you let us know if you saw it in the comment section down below also tell us your names because we need to know them that's a good point. and make sure you let us know what you think about all of our stories today we'll see you right back here tomorrow for the daily rewind bye, -bye. bye guys. see you then